Okay, a thousand dollar Blu-ray player is not worth it most of the time. I'm just gonna put it down. You know, I see all these Blu-ray plays they're selling on Best Buy and stuff. There's one for a thousand dollars right now. That's I forgot what brand it was. I think it was a, might have been a Panasonic or whatever it was. I kept saying to myself, what person would ever need such a Blu-ray player to watch movies, especially this day and age? I mean, if they're trying to cancel out physical media, it's not exactly the greatest idea to go out and buy a player this big. I told people, if you're going to buy a player this big, you could just go out and buy a million regular Blu-ray players to future-proof yourself. But th it doesn't make much sense to me. But there is a reason. And I figured the only reason it could be is for those really hardcore movie people who have theater rooms with projectors, they have really expensive seats. Um, they usually seat like at least five or six people or more. Those are the kind of people that are going to have really expensive surround sound systems and stuff like that. I can understand why you would buy in in that situation because you might get an advantage. There might be features on board the player. But for someone like me to go to the store and buy a $1,000 Blu-ray player is not worth it. And from what I understand, the picture I saw was a guy that was a professional in a theater, in a theater system that he had in his house somewhere. And the first thing I said to myself was, is that this guy's a professional. He put it in look, what looked like a server rack that he converted over to a movie rack. And um, the one thing I don't understand, though, is, is that if this is gauged towards stuff like that where they put it on a rack, you're going to be so far away from it, you can't see it. This thing has a forward, um, a front display, which is uncalled, not uncalled for. It's unheard of in modern day plays. Everything you look at, you can't see anything on the player. There's no clock, nothing. But um, this has an on-screen, um, not on-screen, an on-board display in the front, which you can use to, I guess, see the chapter, how far you are in a movie. There's a clock on it and everything, but what purpose is that if you put it on a rack I mean, you, and you're so far away from it, you won't be able to see it anyways. Um, I was thinking maybe, you know, people should stay away from buying stuff like this. And a lot of people have problems. Believe it or not, even when you spend $1,000, you still can run into huge issues with having to get things fixed. That is such a pain in the ass, I cannot imagine. Um what that would be like to spend a thousand dollars on a blu-ray player and then have it break and be stuck with the warranty see the but here's the difference between something breaking a week after you buy it and then maybe a couple of months if it breaks within a week you can just take it back to, I'm gonna use Best Buy as an example if it breaks within a week you can take it back to Best Buy you can either get a brand new one a stock credit or you can wait for a refund or something yeah, probably gonna make you wait for a refund unless you're paying in cash. I would never go to the store and pay in cash for something that's a thousand dollars. That's not too smart, but I guess we we all might do it in the future. But it's not smart. Um, or you could, um, or you if let's say two or three months down the line you have a problem with the player, now you have to deal with the warranties. Now you have to call all these companies up and try to get the item fixed. Some of them will say, oh sure, we'll fix it, but you have to ship it to, uh, to, to us at your own cost, which is bullcrap. Their product breaks, you have to pay to send it to them. On top of what you have to pay to get it repaired, that's a bunch of crap. Um, Best Buy doesn't really have any say, say after that point. Um, all I'm going to say is I don't think it's worth buying a $1,000 Blu-ray player. Even if I was to have a system like this guy had with the theater room and all that other stuff. The one thing I would say to myself is, this isn't worth it. I could buy like, I could live with the regular player like I have right now. The UBP 800, it's, it's only about, what is it, yeah, two, 200 to 300 bucks. Now that might seem expensive, but it's nothing compared to a thousand dollar Panasonic player, which I believe is the one I'm talking about. So I think I would rather just stick to it this way. Um, I want to tell you this though, it really annoys the hell out of me, it really does. Uh, I wish it was a better way to go through with this, like I wish people would stay away from it, they could say to themselves, well I could go purchase a better player somewhere else and that'll be it. Um, 
whatever you do, do not listen to these people, the people at Best Buy about what's right and what's wrong. They don't know. And the reason why I say that is, it's because they might have some training, which usually they don't. Well, at least they don't seem like they don't. Um, they might have some training, but the problem with it is, is that most of these high, really high grade items they've never used before. So if you ask someone, how good is this thousand dollar player? Like, what does it look like? Does it run right? They won't be able to answer those questions. They've, they've never used a machine like that. That's why I think Best Buy should have one of these top of the line Blu-ray players available. Well, now they're not going to do it because they're getting rid of physical media. Well, they're trying to. If they could just, even before, if I go back like a seven or eight years ago, they never had anything on display that was one of the best Blu-ray plays they had. They just put an average Blu-ray player out there and they collect, they connected it to all the televisions. Wouldn't it be nice if they could get one of the high grade ones and hook it up? I would have liked that, but they don't do anything like that anymore. You know, I'm really, really disappointed. I really am. I'm really disappointed that there's nothing um, the, the, that can be done. And another thing is, is when you look at these plays, they're all very old now. Some of them date like two, three years old or more. And they're not making any new ones because of what's been going on with physical media. So you're going to buy a player that possibly right out of the box won't receive any updates or anything like that. Not that you probably won't need them, but that's beside the point. I don't think I've ever had a problem where my Blu-rays and stuff wouldn't play because of an update. Other than the computer. Computer stopped me from playing Blu-rays because things got newer. But with a Blu-ray player, I, I've never... Um, I never had a problem. I thought once it was a firmware update, but come to find it out, the lens was bad. I had a 3D Blu-ray player from before that was a Samsung, and when I started to use that thing, oh boy, um, you know, I started to use it again after a while. I forgot all about it, and the only thing that worked on it was DVDs, which meant the laser lens was pretty much fried. Um, don't go out wasting money on a $1,000 Blu-ray player. You can go out easily and buy a two fifty. $250, $300 one, and it'll do what you want. There might be some features that are missed out, but what's the big deal? Um, let's just say if you do go buy a $1,000 one and it does last many years, well, you're never going to find another one because I know what's going to happen, just like every other player. They're going to sell these for a long time to come, but then they, at the very end, they're going to sell the worst model possible. Like when the VCR shit the bed, um, they sold the worst VCRs possible at the store till they finally stopped. And that's what they're starting to do with DVD players. There's a few DVD players out there that do that have some special things that aren't Blu-ray players. But the real bad DVD players are all on the shelf right now. And then those will disappear. Alright, that's it. Bye-bye.